Good Sunday morning, everyone. Welcome to another inspirational video today. This is Minister Tremaine here with another powerful message on today. You know, God is good and all the time, God is good. And we thank him for blessing us, keeping us, amen, and still giving us one more chance to say yes to his will and yes to his ways. Amen. Well, today we're going to be coming from the book of uh, uh, 1 Samuel 28, verses uh, 6, all the way down to to 12. Amen. And uh, I got a powerful message for you today. So tune on in and let's listen. When uh, It says, when, uh, sad, when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. Then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. His servants said to him, Behold, there is a woman that has familiar spirit at Edor. And Saul disgusted himself and put on a, a, uh, another raiment and he said no and he went uh, and two men yes with him and they came to the woman by night and he said I pray thee divine unto me by the familiar spirit and bring me up bring him up no and, yes and bring me him up whom I shall name unto thee. Amen. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest that what Saul has done, how he hath cut off these that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. Where, wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause those to die. Amen. And Saul swear to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall be no punishment happen to thee for this thing. And, uh, and said the woman, Whom I shall bring uh, 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 up unto thee. And he said, Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, he cried with a loud voice, and said, And, uh, and the woman spake to Saul, saying, why thou hast to see me, for thou art Saul. Amen. Hallelujah. We just thank the Lord for the reading of his word on this morning. Amen. So today we're going to talk about the art of letting go. The art of letting go. Amen. That's a pretty uh, usual topic right there. The art of letting go. When we let go, all right, we release, we release. When we let go, we release. Sometimes letting go can hurt. Sometimes letting go could be a shock and a wow and an awe. Sometimes letting go can hurt. Amen. But when God says it's time to let go, it's time to move, then we as the children of God got to move. You see, he asked the Lord, what should he do? But the Lord refused to answer him, either by dreams or sacred lots or by the prophets. Saul then said to his advisors, find a woman who is medium so I can ask her what to do. His advisors replied, replied, there is a medium at Endor. Don't be afraid, the king told her. What do you see? I see a God coming up out of the earth, she said. What does he look like? Saul asked. He's an old man wrapped in a robe. She replied, Saul realized that it was Samuel. 
and he fell to the ground before him. Why you disturb me, calling me back, Samuel asked, because I am in deep trouble. Saul replied, the Philistines are at war with me, and God has left me and won't reply about the prophets of dreams. Hallelujah. I feel led to say the saints of God. Amen. We got to learn to leave folks alone that don't want to reply to you. If somebody walks out your life or lets you go, amen, stop reaching out to them and let them go. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the more we reach out to the ones that let you go or you let them go, you are setting your own self back from what God, where God wants to take you. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's time to do a, a social media message sweep out. Hallelujah. It's time to clean out some old messages from old friends that let you go. Amen. Because God wants to take you somewhere. Hallelujah. But in order for him to take you somewhere, we got to move. We got to let go and let God step in. You see, why have you disturbed me? Samuel asked Paul, because he's in deep trouble. So he have called and asked them what to do. Amen. You see, sometimes God won't answer right away. Amen. Not to you obey his word. Uh -huh. And not to you Get right, church, and let's go home. Because the word tells us that God hears the cries of the righteous. Amen. And when we're holding on to sinful things and things that is not of God, amen. Yeah, God may not hear you. Uh-huh. You could be praying and asking God for what you want. And God is just, just going about his thing. Because you refuse to let go of what you're doing and get right with God. Amen. I know it can hurt. Holding on and not letting go. We cannot hold on to our lives and expect to make it with God. You see, Saul failed in his obedience unto God. Making it unlawful sacrifices. Amen. You see, he never experienced broke, brokenness, remorse, or sorrow. You see, what happened to Saul, he did his own thing. He loved self-glorification. He became more prideful and thoughtful that he was an ultimate king. It wasn't about God. Amen. You see, we're so caught up in our flesh. We like to let our flesh drive us. Let us lead us in the places and things we're not supposed to be in. We let our flesh guide us to the wrong people. We let it fantasize after somebody's own body. Amen. Amen. I, I can imagine that. You know, some of these men out there luring, uh, lusting after these women with these fine, big booties, pretty faces and all that kind of stuff. And I can imagine these women out here saying, oh, he's tall, dark and handsome. Look at his body. He got a muscular body. Amen. Amen. We, we got that, man. I'll tell you right now, that's nothing but lust. We're lusting after what ain't right for us. And then that nice, sexy, big booty, beautiful face and all that could be the meanest, demonic, horrible thing on the inside. That tall, dark, and handsome man could be a drug dealer. Amen? So we got to let the let go of our desires and rest them in the hands of God. Because the Bible says, delight yourself in him 
and he will give you the desires of your heart. So when we let go of our doing and conform to God, amen, God will bless you. He will put the right things in your life. He will give you a husband. He will give you a wife. He will give you your dream home. All you got to do is release. Release. Say, Lord, I step down so you can step on forward, Lord. Because, Lord, I know you got something for me. But if you keep on holding on like Saul did, failing to disobey God, then we lose out. We miss out on sin. You see, we have to ask God to prepare me a clean heart. As it says, according to Psalms 51 and, and, and 12, create me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore your salvation and uphold me with your generous spirit. Amen. Amen. Create me a clean heart. See, when you step out of what you're doing and you ask God to create you a clean heart. And I even uh, talked about this before. You allow things to change. You allow God to come in and put the right people in your life. You see, men and women out there having trouble dating. I know it's hard trying to find a mate. Uh huh. But don't look at the person's body and their face and their butt. <laughs> Ooh, he's tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> Looks. Do not tell, does not make up a personality, I say. Because you are not in it for a feature. You are dealing with a package. Yes, a package, not a feature. Because looks change, because people change uh, uh, years from now. I mean, I look... The way I look now is the way I look now at the present time, 2022. Ten years from now, my, my look might change. So looks is not going to win somebody over. It's the person's heart is what's going to win them over. So a person's body, mm -mm. no. No. I learned to let go of my fantasies, let go of my wants, and I learned to let God orchestrate my path. Because when God does it, it's right. When I do it, it's messed up, all messed up. Mm -hmm. So today I encourage you all to let go of whatever it is. Regardless if it's things, pleasure, money, lust. It doesn't matter how much deeply love and love you are with that person. If it's time for them to go, let them go. If you meet them at the store somewhere, get their phone number and you don't hear from them. That's a sign that they're not for you. I, you know, I got to say this. This this is also on my heart today. <laughs> if you add somebody, if you meet somebody, and they add you on social media, and then the moment you disappear, they take you off their account and block you. Let them go. Mm hmm. For example, you meet a girl. She asked you on Instagram or Facebook. You guys talking and getting to know each other. And then the moment you leave, she deletes or block you. That's the sign she ain't for you. Mm -hmm. Go out on one date. 
And then the next thing you know, she's gone. Let her go. She ain't for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Family members, toxic people, disrespecting you, abusing you, putting you down, underestimating you. Let them go. Uh huh. Let them go. Because when you let go, you allowing God to step in. Because when 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 when, 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 when people run from you here and there, here and there, they see your clean heart. Mm -hmm. They see that you are clean before the Lord. And they don't want to damage you. Because the wrong people will damage you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we are saved. And we are set aside from the world. The world cannot fellowship with cleanliness. Unrighteousness will not work well with the righteous. Mm -mm. So if you're going to ride this ride... I encourage you all today, if you want to know God as your personal Savior, if you're dealing with something or with someone or in your life that you love or value so much as something that you just cannot control and you have a hard time letting it go, I encourage you to get to know God right now. If you are to meet him today, would you be saved? Amen. Would you be saved? Amen. So I encourage you today. I encourage you today to get to know Jesus because he loves you. He cares about you. He gave his only son so you and I have an abundant life. Amen. Well, I want to thank you for watching this video on today. I hope it encouraged you on this morning. Amen. Uh, let the peace of God, amen, let, let the peace of God rule in your life. Amen. According to uh, Colossians 3, 3.15, right? Let the peace of God rule over your heart. Amen. So let God be in your heart. Let God's peace Rest in your heart. Amen. Lay down your burdens at the altar and rest in God. Amen. Well, tune in for more videos. Uh, turn that, uh, Hit that subscribe button and turn that notification button on. That way you can get the latest on our videos. I hope everyone has a blessed Sunday. And remember, let the peace of God rule in your heart.